you get him to do that? I asked. Very clever. He was surprisingly eager. Eager is a good thing. Uh-huh. You're staring. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. <laughs> supervising. I see what you're supervising. It's like an apple. You could bounce a quarter off that apple. Apples are good for you. Hi. Sure is hot. Sure is. You want something to drink? I have bottled water. Bottled would be great. I'll get it. You stay and continue the mating ritual. So when do I get to come over and watch TV? Oh. I don't know. I just have the one TV and it's very small. Well, that's okay. You can sit close. Heads <laughs> up. You stop it. I haven't started anything. That's what I'm talking about. You should stop with the not starting and start something already. He's married to a philandering strumpet. Those sorts of marriages get annulled. I can't be in a relationship right now. I have issues. Who doesn't? I'm going through a me phase. Going through? Leave me alone. Why can't I just be celibate? Um, because you like boys? And this boy is ready for your jelly. Look at him. He's smitten. Oh. Smitten and eager are bad. Now you know what you get with smitten and eager. Mm. Oh. Hi. Hi. I was just coming to see you. Where? Yeah, I brought you donuts. Those donuts? Mm -hmm. She was starving. So you were bringing me, and then she's here, and now they're all... And she is? Your name's Katya, from Russia. Mm -hmm. I was passing by, and a little voice told me I should probably stop and check on her. Voice? There was a voice? Yeah, you know that little voice inside. Oh, right. A little voice inside. She looked like she needed help. Interesting. Never break this spell I'm under. Every thought of you is wonder. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. I don't know. I think it's kind of sweet. Anyway, we're supposed to be looking for clues, not critiquing the love lorn. Okay, but I gotta ask. I mean, I sort of get why you give her my donuts. And even springing for the all-you-can-eat wings. But even if we do find this guy, there's gotta be a reason he ditched her. Why would you want to get involved in something so potentially messy and complicated if you don't have to? Because she makes me sad. Are you attracted to her? If I were attracted to her, I wouldn't be trying to find the guy she's in love with, would I? Oh, good answer. Is this because of Heidi? Heidi? Yeah, your wife. I know who Heidi is. Why would it have anything to do with Heidi? Well, it would explain why you're so big with the empathy. Hell, you only had to drive in from New Jersey to be betrayed and dumped on your honeymoon. That poor woman came all the way from Asia Minor and never even got to have the wedding. I am over Heidi. But I have been in love, if that's what you mean. Well, yeah. Who hasn't? Have you? Have I what? Been in love. The... Yeah. Sure. I think so. You think so? I've had boyfriends. What? Yeah, but you've never been in love. You don't know that. It would explain why these letters make you cringe. It's like a language you haven't yet learned. Actually, I think it's a language the author hasn't yet learned. He seems to think nuptial rhymes with cupful. Well, when it happens to you, when you finally open yourself up to it, you'll just know it in your bones. What do you mean, open myself up to it? You are a little closed off. I'm not closed off. A little bit. I thought maybe it was because you'd been hurt. But since you've never been in love... I've been hurt! 
Okay. And I'm not closed off. I'm open. Open for business. I'm just not actively active right now because my life is so full. Solve the mystery. <laughs> Can't you get her to stop? She just found out the man she loves doesn't exist. Her heart's broken. This is what happens. People cry. I cried for three days. Okay, you were right. I guess I've never been in love because the only time I made a noise like that, I'd had some bad fish. Well, love doesn't always sound like that. But you have to be willing to risk the heartache if you want the good stuff, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's lots of good stuff you can get without all of that. Well, sure, but if you want to be close to somebody, really close, you have to open yourself up. Like a wound? You have to drop the defenses. I don't have defenses. No, you have offenses. Don't you ever wish you had someone you could just be yourself with? I'm not sure who that is yet. Well, wouldn't it be interesting to find out? No boyfriend, not boyfriend, just boy, just friend, not a couple, there's no couple. I think she got it. I think we all did. You alone too? Yeah. Let me have my bride! That kid doesn't need a bride, he needs a talking to. Someone needs to explain to him what it means to be a man. I expect a guy to do that. Here, uh, 40,000 channels, welcome to America, we'll be back.